Yeah, you guys, I'm obviously worth $45 million. Um, just kidding. I'm not worth 40, 45 or 40 million, whatever that site says. Uh, I'm not worth it. If I was, I probably would be, I'd be, I'd, I, I would, first of all, I would probably stream. I'd still probably stream, but I would be retired from, uh, from playing chess. And secondly, I would probably be donating all my, uh, all my subs to a charity if that were the case. Let's play K Bazada. Let's play K. Play knight f3. Play e3. Play c4. Oh, let's just take. Let's keep it really, really low key and chill. Let's take a D, 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 deep breath and just play chess. Play queen e2. Yeah, 45 million from chess would be impossible. No way. Even, I mean, Actually, no, Gary might be worth 50. I think Gary is actually worth like 50 million, if I'm not mistaken. But Gary also does speak, he also does speaking engagements for 50, 50K a pop, I think, or 100K a pop now, I don't know. But yeah, Gary, uh, um, Gary, uh, do I want to play A3 here? I think I will, because he doesn't have F6. I just want to create a square. Okay, this is going to get really ugly for my, my good friend here in a second. I mean, he can play G5, but then I go... You know what? Let's just sack. Let's play like Danya. Although this is probably a good sack because he can't play F6. Um, Queen H5 is actually just crushing on the spot here. Google has Gary at 5 million? Google says Gary is worth 5 million? That's it? No, Gary's worth more than 5 million. I can say that because for sure Gary has... Um, Gary definitely must have stock holdings in something. And secondly, the apartment that he owns in New York City is worth about 4.3 million. I looked it up. Um, the apartment Gary owns on the west side of New York is worth uh, like 4.3 million. I can play 96 here. I can play Queen H5. This this whole the whole town is is ripe here for the picking. Let's play Queen H5. Now we just go all in. This is gonna get really brutal for Black in a second. This bishop, I mean, a bishop, I mean everything is probably winning. Let's just take. Let's just uh, take. If takes, I take the pawn, hitting the queen. This is just GG. Okay, queen c6 is a good try, but I just go bishop f1 like a cool cat, and it's uh, knight b5, knight d6 is coming now, and this is really he's headed into pain, pain town here. What's he have? Some trickery? I don't see it. Knight f3, I just take with the pawn. Oh, he's got this. Uh, no, my friend. I don't think so. Uh, let's play Berliner. On the moon. Man on the moon. Magnus's, con Magnus's company is worth 30 million. Again, that's very questionable because that's the way all startups are. So it's like... I know somebody who did a startup recently and they valued it at um at like five million and then you're like, well, okay, you're valuing it at five million, but what's it really worth? What can you sell it for? Good night to hop in the DeLorean. Thank you so much for to for modding the whole Arena Kings. Uh thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Have a good night. Uh have a have a great night, I should say, Mr. Hoppin the DeLorean. Um This is not a good Fionchetto idea. I just play C6, solidify the structure, G6 is coming. Um, because, okay, you know, I'll give you a better example. So those of you who are really into Twitch have almost certainly heard of my, my good friend, Byron, Byron, also known as Reckful. Um, uh, no, I mean, the way they value Magnus is, play Magnus is based on just pure valuation, what somebody was willing to pay for it. So it's like, it's easy to say that, but. Okay, let's play Queen F6. It's easy to save 30 million, but uh, but anyway, the point is so Byron, he's he has this new game, Ever EverQuest, I think it's called. And Byron, Byron, I don't know exactly what he's valuing it at, but I think he's he would not sell me a piece for anything less than a couple million. Which is all nice and fine. 
But that doesn't mean you can sell the uh, Everland. That doesn't mean you can sell the actual company for, for a few million is kind of the point. Okay, Queen D4. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think they valued it at 30 million because whatever they bought, um, they bought out Chess 24 for um, is what they're basing it on, which of course is crazy, obviously. But again, play Queen takes D2. That's a free pawn. Oh, he had knight h5 takes and bishop takes h7 and he wins the queen on d2. I am such a patzer at chess. Uh, let's go queen h6, queen g7. Okay, queen f6 is good, but it's a little bit late now because I still, I'm going to get queen g7. Maybe, although he's got knight f5. But I take and then I go queen f4 and I'm winning. Um... Your brain is so quick. Thank you so much. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. That was a beautiful tactical setup if he had seen it, but he didn't see it. So now I'm just up a clean pawn. Very nice controlled pawn structure. Um, just a be beautiful day here for me. It's just beauty, beauty on the board. Okay, he's trying to get cheeky. Maybe he's got something with queen c7 actually. Okay, let's just go rook d8 and queen c3, I think. Let's, you know, as the saying goes, I'll show you yours, or you show me mine, I'll show you yours. So, um, I think I just take and play knight c5. Play knight c5. This takes, I hit the queen. If takes, takes, if queen d8 takes, takes, I have two pieces for the, uh, for the, um, oh, he's got knight e7. Ooh, cheeky, cheeky. This guy has some, this guy is cheeky. Uh, let's see, actually, it's not easy. Um, I mean, maybe I can go king h6, but that looks, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play practically here and play rook e8. He's got issues here, I'm hitting everything, basically. Who do I like more, Fabiano or Wesley? Um, I don't really have a preference, honestly. Um, wait, knight c7 or knight c... I think knight c7 to hit the queen. And more importantly, the knight guards um, guards the rook on e8, which is very important here. Oh, he got he still found another trick, um, but it's not a good trick. Yeah, and now he can't guard the knight. He's, he's going to lose material here, and that should be game over. And resigns. Let's go again. Um, believe E4 is correct here. What am I throwing in my hands? It is a stress ball. It's a stress reliever. What is this? Um... I'm just gonna go for this juicy, juicy square here on e6. It's a nice big hole in the black position. Really big hole, not much black can do about it. Do women players earn more money compared to their ratings? What is bishop h6? This dude is on something, I don't know what, but I just go c4 and take. Okay, so how do I do this? I'm just going to cast and play rookie one. Okay, but now he's got double pawns. I mean, these are really ugly double pawns. Just, um, queen f3 and knight e2. Very pleasant position. I'm not worth 45 million, you guys, but you're, you're all very, very funny. Relative to their rating, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Okay, I'm just going to take and play an endgame up a clean pawn here. Well, that's the point. Yeah, if I, I would still stream, I think, because chess is what I'm best at, um, for sure. Okay, what is this? He's trying to do some something weird here. I don't know what. So I just go queen f3. Knight d3, I have knight f5, and then I have knight e7. Also, I support the pawn on g2. 
I'm play knight f5 here. I mean, I'll just play rook d1. Cover this d3 square. Okay, but my friend, I mean, I take your pawn. What do you have? I mean, I know he likes to say, ooh, I've got two open files. Ooh la la, I can attack. But it's really hard to believe that it's anything here. So I'm just going to play rook e1. Control the e file, go queen e7. I'm going to play queen h5 again. I think I'm going to play queen e4 here. Try to con contend with the queen. Okay, I've got knight f5. It's hard because there's so... I'm going to play f4 here. Just prevent this knight from any having any squares. Okay. Get out of here, fly. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go b3, a3, b4 at some point. I think I can still, I've got to be a touch careful here. There might be some tricks, but I think just rookie three and rookie one looks pretty solid. And I can always play a3. I think I will play a3 and just b4. Yeah, I'm not worth 45 million, but I would still stream chess because I do love chess. So I would still stream chess. I would just, if I was worth 45 million, I would donate all the subs to uh, to charity. No doubt about that. Okay, this looks weird, 94. What is this? Um, I think I can play rookie eight and d5 here. I can also take a pawn here potentially, but I'm just gonna play d5. This looks weird. Um, let's see. I can take and play h6. I'm just gonna take and play h6. Okay, I will just take. Again, he's got ugly double pawns here that are really not serving a good purpose. Play bishop e6, rook d8 coming. Uh, do we want to be like a Bobby, a Bobby Fisher and grab something bad? No, let's just be practical. Uh, I, 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 I respect you more than Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, I still cannot understand how you guys play blindfold. Get out of here, fly. Get out, out. Um, okay, uh, one second, sorry. Um, yeah, let's just take. No, I take. Just up a pawn. If rook a1, I go bishop c4, takes, and he gets back rank mated. Check, back, and mate. Right, so someone said you respect me more than Cristiano Ronaldo. Thanks. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not about. For me, it's not about blindfold chess. It's just the fact that my my hair and everything looks so natural without needing to uh, spiffy it up like Cristiano Ronaldo has to before a stupid game of, of uh, football. Play knight f three. Um. Okay. Let's play e four. Bishop b five here. You're doing fine until you called football stupid. Football, soccer, it's all the same. Uh, let's play C3 and B4, maybe. Wait, please. Uh, um, let's play Bishop G5, Bishop H4. It could be worse. I could say soccer. True. Soccer. Asian hair is cheating. Asian hair is cheating. Hmm. Asian hair is cheating. Well, I don't understand. I must be missing the joke. How is Asian hair cheating? Okay, knight f1, knight e3, d4, of course. Funk you up. Um, I can play bishop b3 or d3. I think I'm going to go to b3 here. Just keep pressure on the diagonal. Um, okay, that's a good move. Maybe just queen c2. Why is this fly in here? Fly is all up in my business. Um, I can play knight e3, knight f5. Hmm, I don't like this. I don't like what I've done. I'll play rook d1. Bishop would have been much better on d3 here. It's got takes or something. Go 
goes knight f4. This I have not played this well. Um, it's still probably okay, but I'm going to try to put the bishop on c2 and the knight on e3 if I can. And then knight f5, because otherwise he was going to take and then win the pawn on d4. Knight f5 is coming. I can also play like h4. I can also play bishop b3 now. I'm going to go bishop b3 now. Put pressure on this diagonal again. G7, okay. I mean, I really want to take and play knight f5, but it's hard to make it work. So I'm just going to go h3. It was knight g8. I don't understand that at all. Now I'm going to play h4, g4, knight h2. Because now the knight is also vulnerable. Um, now I go knight f5. Now I'm going to take and play rook e5, which looks pretty strong. Said, shut up and dance with me. Now I play knight g3, hit the pawn. Gotta go with knight f6. But now queen c1 and this knight is completely off sides and he's gonna lose this knight here. Ooh, ooh. Offsides, yeah, yeah, offsides. Ha ha ha, laugh it up, it's very funny. Ha ha ha. Now, now, now I'm using football terms. Ha ha ha, very funny. Let's just uh, castle. Um, He plays knight d5, I can maybe take, but I can also just play like, I'll just go bishop a5, He's, I'm hitting the pawn. It's a hockey term as well, of course. I can play, I think I'll go d6 and h6 probably. I also can play bishop b6 first, put pressure on the pawn because bishop g5, just queen g6. Oh, but at 97 hangs a piece. Okay, so I have to redevelop here. I should play a4, a5, fix the structure so no b4, a5. Connect three expansion on the queen side. And I can also put something on d7. Let's play queen g6. Idea bishop h3. I love bishop h5. That was careless. I'm still probably okay, but I don't love my position anymore. Okay, bishop e3. Now obviously take. I can also play like knight d7. I think I'm going to play knight d7 and just take with a knight. Try to put pressure on all these pawns. Take. He should take with a knight. If he takes with a pawn, I go queen g5. That's why I want a4, a5, because now I've got a nice outpost as well, where he can't just kick me. I don't know what bishop f5 is supposed to do. Let's just go for it with queen g4 and f5, or queen g5 and f5. Don't care. Knight b3, knight d4, now I get a nice big, big... Take advantage of this hole as well. Uh, someone says, do I invest in R N G I N X? I don't even know what N G I N X is, honestly. In 94. Hmm, it's hard here. Play C6. I'm gonna play C6 and Rook C6. Try to uh, play on this open file here if I can. Maybe C5 is better. C5 is better. He doesn't have to trade here. I really would like to get the rook to c2 as well to create mating threats against the king on g1. A mutual fund that focuses on gin investments? I've never heard of it. That's That sounds kind of wild, actually. What is this? So if I take knight d5, I guess, but I don't understand this because takes, takes, me moves to knight, I go f3 and there are more mate threats. What is this? What is, what is?
No, that was not good. Whoa, thank you to Chess for raiding with 301. Thank you so much to Chess for the raid. Thank you so much. Um, It almost works. It doesn't quite work. I'll just castle. It almost... Wait. How does it not work here? Takes check, check. Let's play Danya. I just want to be a Danya. I want to play like a Danya. This probably won't work, but I want to play like Danya. Danya's my boy. I think I can play Queen F3. Actually, no, I have Queen F3 here. And he can't, he still can't cut everything off. Oh, no, he can. Whoops. Okay, whatever. Let's just play like Danya. Maybe knight d5, or maybe g4. Let's play g4, g5. Let's play like Danya. Danya approves. This is tr this is true Danya style. Absolutely. I had knight b5 also. I missed... No, but the problem with this is... Oh, he's cheeky. He's got it. more ideas. Um, how do I do this? So what happens when you play like Danya? Bad things happen. Okay, let's play d5, like... A 92 h3 i mean this is terrible for me but you never know h5 wow um take h3 is no good i think i will just take king h1 black has moved his king right let's just be yeah black has moved his king right yeah he moved his king okay i just want to make sure because he, if he can't ca if he could castle he just wins but i wanted to just make sure but he can't castle, so it's important to keep that in mind. So let's just go rook g1. It's Danya with a Y. If black could castle, it's game over, but he can't castle. Now, by doing this, it looks good for black, but he also opens up more uh, potential files, like the B and C files could become more open. Wow, okay, so knight d4. I don't really approve of the way K Baba Zadar is playing this. Once again, his king is going to become really exposed, I think, very soon. The rook g5 hit the bishop. Oh, he's got e5. Yuck. Okay, let's go knight f5. Yeah, I've misplayed this, but I can still try to make this messy. Maybe king g1. Yeah, I think I'm going to play king g1, so if he takes up knight d6 here. Okay, maybe just bishop d2. Idea bishop a5. I've got rook b1 as well to hit the queen. Goes king e8, so now I should play uh, rook b1 to hit the queen. Got knight g7 here. I also have rook c1. Oh, then he's got queen b6. Um, how do I want to do this? Tricky. Rook c1, queen b6. Maybe knight e3. Hit the bishop. I still have queen g6 if he takes. If he goes back, then I go rook c1. And now there are no, no longer any checks because the knight cuts the diagonal. Okay, queen d7. I'm going to keep rooks on the board. Definitely knight f5 is a huge threat, like here maybe? Does it work? Knight d6, king takes six. No, it doesn't work. Okay, let's just go rook g2. Knight f5, of course. Knight g7 is coming. I mean, it's... Uh, I'm going to play bishop b4, put more pressure on this pawn. Now f4, of course. Knight g7 or knight e3? I think I'll go knight e3. This guy's defending very, very well here. I will admit that. He's defending extremely well. Okay, so wait. He's trying to trade? Okay. So we trade, I take. The queen h7, maybe? Queen h8. Queen h8, queen g7. Can't I check and play knight f5 or am I missing something? I've also got knight d5, maybe? Yeah. Oh, knight f5 was knight f5. He resigns. He could have gone king d6, maybe? No, then queen d8 wins.
What is A4? Okay. I don't know what A4 really does for white. That was that was for Dania. I don't know if he's watching, but that was for him. That was for my boy Dania. Um, I can play uh, F6 is allows D4. So let's play Rook E8. Maybe Knight E5 is better actually. It goes D4. I thought I'd. Oh no, he's got D5. Whoops. Oy vey, oy vey, oy vey. Um. Oh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm gonna try to make it messy. This is probably bad, but I'll try to make it messy. Daniel Styles and Daniel Ranch, right? No, <laughs> no, not not like that, Daniel. Okay. Um, now the question is, where do I move this rook? Um, I can go to. I think I'll go to B8. C8 was playable too. C8 was actually better. Why didn't I go to C8? That was really stupid of me. Um, I should have gone to see it. Why did I go to see it? Oh, because of B3, I guess, but. Still not clear, though, because now we trade, and this pawn is hanging here. It goes to 5 but that shouldn't really concern me much. I can take. Um, I think it's just Bishop D6 is fine. Ah, uh, he's got knight b6. Okay, but maybe bishop c2. Knight b6. Um, hmm. I guess let's just take and play b6. Just bishop c5, maybe. Support everything here. I can play rook e8 at bishop f4. Uh, just rook e8 looks fine. Just rook c8 next move. I'm gonna play h. Ooh, wow. That was a suspect move. Now I have knight b4 coming. Very suspect. See, it really opens up the king side. I mean, he can still go f3, but. Bishop d2, okay. Hmm. F2, rook b3, I've got no good moves. Um, hmm. okay. Eh. I guess I'll just go king f8. It's not what I want to play, but I have to see no better moves. Yeah, let's just go back to e5. Wow, he sacks. Okay, but but now I get knight c4 and he doesn't get to keep the two bishops. It's still probably a draw with correct play, but I don't think he's going to draw this now. Just take. Threatening to take the pawn. He's got a check and a bishop d8, but I figure... Um, hey, I almost played rook e8, which allowed bishop b4. Uh, how do we want to try? Oh wait, I do have rookie eight. Come on! Bishop c seven, I just take a six, I just take a seven, I play rook a four, and that's game over. Let's play e three and c four. These are gonna be the last two games, you guys, because I am feeling a little tired. Um, so regardless of whether I complete the adoption or not, these are going to be the last two games. Uh, let's put b3, bishop b2. How's it going, bishop uh, in the corner pocket? How's it going? I like that, bishop in the corner pocket. That's uh, original, original username. I don't really understand this. This is questionable at best. I think I'm just going to play c5. So you put the knight here, so he never has b6 levers to open up the center anymore. I can go knight e5 and bishop d3. Vertwitch says you look good for your age. I do. Thank you, Vertwitch. Much appreciated. I mean, I really want to just smoke him. Um, I'll just play b4, build up the, build up the queen side. Um, I guess knight e2, knight f4 makes sense here. I'm definitely going to attack here. Let's play h4. Definitely gonna go knight f4. h5, knight f4, knight e5 coming. I'm playing knight e5. I can also, I really wanna, I wanna attack him. How do I attack with g4? Um, 
Castles gives him b6. I don't really want to do that. Um, I think I'm just going to play knight e5. If he takes, I take. I really want to attack, but it doesn't make sense. And again, we're two away from adoption, so no need to be insane here. It's knight e2. I can play f4. His knight is, is like a, 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 you know, a big sad sack of coal here. The car looks great. He does not wear glasses. Thank you. It's just the Asian genes. I mean, I I guess I could say I've all the women in my family live have lived to at least I think like 85 or 90 plus almost. So um, I do have good genes, and also the relatives on the Japanese side, of course, have lived for 500 years too. Uh, let's just go for it. I'm just gonna play knight g3. D4. I just take. He's got to try to do something with this knight, but I don't, I think it's, I don't really see it working. I can play like queen e2 and queen g4 now. Knock a stream past 100 years old. That'd be impressive. Thank you to Faceus for the 1000 bits. Let's play rook d1. Again, if queen g4, he had knight e3, because if I take, I lose the bishop on, on, um, on d3. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, I can just take and go bishop h7. Okay, um, this is a little tricky. I don't really want to give him counterplay, but I don't know if I can prevent it. Um, um, let's just go rook c4 and takes. Just castles. Uh, f5 and e6 maybe? Yeah, uh, oh wait, no, then I hang the knight. Oops, that would be very poor. It's not as easy as it should be somehow. Uh, let's make a check. Step one. Step two is to cut the queen off. So I think I play rook b1 to hit the queen, and then I'm going to play rook d1. Try and trade the queens. Yeah, or try try and trade some rooks here. Does the only thing black has the open file. Now if I take d4, rook c4 looks good. Okay, uh, I should play c6, cut the cut the bishops off, no 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 access now. D3, I just take. Um not trivial. Not trivial. Not trivial. Queen c2. Wait, actually I'm threatening mate though, so after check I go king h2, and it's still checkmate because the queen covers h7. Maybe f5. Just need to be a little bit careful here. I mean, f5 is what I want to play. Yeah, let's just go for it. It's probably shaky, but I'm going to play it anyway. I don't see any access points where you can use this diagonal effectively here. Okay, and I think I can go knight d6 maybe. Oh, I've got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, there's queen e3. Before. I still see no access squares. Okay, now knight, knight d6, queen f1 or something. Okay, I guess just queen f2 is good. Oh, I gave him queen c6. But I've got knight g3. Okay, he misses it. Okay, I guess I'll play knight d6 now, maybe? Now rook b8 is a massive threat with queen f5 mate. Queen, rook g4, do I want to check? I think I should just take... Still dangerous. Oh wait, I don't have rook g1. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see. I, I can tickle him. Okay, let's sack. Oh, I misplayed this. No, I should not have traded queens. Okay. I think I win by one tempo, right? Yes, I win by one tempo. Yes, I check and I check. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. One more.
It's just math. Yeah, it's just basic math. Such a luck box. Total luck box. No skill. I have no skill at this thing we call chess. That was close to a Josh Waitzkin. It was, yeah. I don't know why he did this either, but whatever. Rookie 8. Okay, I'm going to play d5. Try to build the center here. Searching for Hikaru. Something like that. Um, let's just go bishop d6. Um, let's play creatively. I'm going to give him this, this pawn. He wants it. He can take it. He doesn't want it, apparently. Okay, then let's just kill him. Or he can be really creative. Okay, this doesn't look right. This bishop e7. But now I just take it because I have a check and he loses the game. Hit the bishop, hit the knight. He had 94. And he resigns. So on that note, you guys, that is an adoption. So, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the Arena Kings victory against um, against Ali Reza earlier. Uh, I'm definitely going to be heading out because I'm quite tired. I also have an early morning flight to uh, to St. Louis tomorrow morning, so I, I kind of have to get ready. Um, thank you going to go go mad for the four months. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Gar, great stream, buddy. Congrats on the Arena King victory. Thank you so much for going to go mad. So I'm gonna check. I'm gonna head. I'm gonna check out you guys. Um, but I hope you enjoy the stream. Thank you to everybody for the gifted subs to um, Chess Base CW55 CW. I think it was Nezco Chess or Resco Chess. I don't remember exactly. Uh, thanks once again to everybody for all all the uh, all the support. Really, really appreciate it. Um, it's it's really it's really great to be back as well and win for everybody who's watching the stream. So thank you once again to everybody who gifted subs. Thank you to the mods to. Up in the DeLorean, Bruja Web, of course, the one and only Chess Bay, and all the other ones that I uh, that I wasn't able to name. So thank you once again to all the uh, all the mods as well. So we will probably be back on Sunday. I don't know if it's going to be uh, it's going to be um, sub Sunday or not, but uh, we will be streaming on Sunday. So once again, thank you to everybody for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and we are going to send you off the raid to Tori now. And I will be back on Sunday, so stay tuned for that and have a great rest of your evening. Great start to the, the weekend. Good night, everybody.